So I'm here on the Cody Mag stand with Pierre Panel, who's an um, export sales engineer at Cody Mag. And Cody Mag has been one of the most important things they've been driving is standardization um, and the importance of uh, simulation of Pantone colors um, from a set of process, process color printing. And Cody Mag was really one of the first companies to work with um, ESCO and a very close team to uh, get this process optimized. So I think this is the um, second show that you've been showing this configuration of machine yet? Um, yeah, it's right. We've started uh, a few years ago at Label Expo Europe, uh, showing six and seven color presses to do uh, extended gamut printing. So it's been doing here also at, uh, at Label Expo Americas. And I believe that you also were, you've been printing customer, customer jobs here as well. Yes, we've actually offered label printers in North America the opportunity to challenge Cody Mag to bring a PDF file on our booth and to be able to actually print their own job on, uh, on our booth. So we brought a, a ESCO workstation to be able to, to do the file uh, processing. And we have a CTP also and a plate processor on, um, on the booth. So it's very efficient because it's only 15 minutes to make plates. So we can actually spend about half an hour with the customer and we go from the PDF straight to the printing label. So yeah, it's been a good experience. So obviously, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, of, of digital printing here, Pierre, and uh, a lot of, uh, of new developments there. But with this kind of a workflow and just using, using this um, six, six separations, um, it's possible to almost be a, have a, a digital, digital press type of a workflow. Yes, exactly. We're actually very competitive to digital technology um, because obviously printing with a fixed ink set on the press, you have a lot of wash-ups. So your changeovers are much quicker. So it's a conventional press, which can be very competitive to, to, to digital. Uh, from the calculation we made, we can be competitive starting about 1,000 feet of material. Right. And that's also because the offset plates are obviously cheaper than the exactly. flex plates as well. Right. Yeah, yeah. And you have the um, inline. Can you just um, go through the uh, configuration of the, of the machine you have here? Okay. So we've brought a Viva 340 Aniflow. So it's a 13-inch wide uh, press. Uh, it's been configured with uh, six colors. Uh, there is a hot foil stamping unit with a foil saving capacity, uh, flexo varnish, and a semi-rotary screen unit. Uh, and then we obviously have the die cut uh, with a gap master feature on it. Thank you. And what's been the been the reaction here at the show to the machine? What What's, um, what have the visitors been, been, been saying about the machine and the whole system around it? So we've actually had a very good um, feedback from the customers. Um, they totally agree now in North America that they need to find something to fit where digital cannot go anymore because it becomes too long as runs and too expensive and where Flexo hasn't started yet. Uh, so they're really trying to link or to find a solution in between digital and Flexo, and that's exactly what we're offering. So they've been very impressed. A few customers even uh, brought files that were not planned. They actually, when they saw the first demo, they actually decided to come back the day after with a file to, to challenge the press. So, so it's been very good. Uh, people really are looking for something between digital and Flexo. So I think we've got the right solution for that. Right, and, and that's the, um, so people will understand the concept of the AniFlow and how this works, or do you have to really explain this to the harder people? So actually, um, wireless offset starts to have a, a name in the packaging industry, so people understand uh, what is wireless offset and the interest of it. Um, so I think for the North American market, having a, the AniFlow with an Analux uh, on top of the unit is very helpful because uh, they're very knowledgeable about Flexo, so they understand that actually the feature, the mixed feature between Flexo and offset and the interest of that kind of technology. And if you look at the kind of um, printers who bought this machine in North America, ha have there been particularly kinds of application, the wine industry maybe? or So yes, the wine industry uh, is watching because it's an offset unit uh, and the wine industry likes offsets uh, for all the wine materials, all the textured stocks that they have to print on. Um, so yes, the wine industry is one part of the business. Um, what we're seeing each time more is people doing food labels, uh, industrial labels, detergents. Um, we've had a customer from Mexico who brought a very nice detergent label with a very nice vignette. And obviously in offset it comes out very easily. So there's also a lot of interest for some other markets than the wine label business uh, for offsets. Well Pierre, glad you had a good show. And uh, nice to see you here again in the US and uh, catch up soon.
Thank you very much for the visit and uh, see you soon. Thank you.